What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you what a car looks like that you could buy for around $2,250. That's right, $2,250. We're not going to knock you, knock you block off, you know what I'm saying folks? We're actually going to give you a pretty good deal on this car. $2,250, not bad, right? So let's go ahead and walk around. Let's take a look and see what, again, a car in 2023 looks like for around $2,000 or so. This is a Hyundai Elantra Touring, black in color with tinted windows, with 190,000 miles on it. It's got 17 inch alloy wheels. Tires are actually in pretty good shape, as you can see right there. Now, the reason why on the front passenger side has a black steel wheel is because from what the previous owner was telling me was that he hit a curb when driving and bent the rim and the rim got bent so he had to buy this steel wheel here and put that on instead of having the bent rim on the car because the bent rim makes the car vibrate and you just can't drive it with it bent and i'll show you that right now but again in reality, I'm showing you a car that you can buy for $2,250 in the year 2023. This is one of those videos you go back and watch, you know, 50 years later. You're like, I wonder what kind of cars people could buy back in 2023 in the 20s, you know, for around $2,000. Well, that's what this is. So anyways, if you got a wheel that's bent, and as you can see, there's the bend right there, right there. That right there can cause some pretty serious uh, vibrations going on when driving on the highway or interstate. And in some cases, if the, the bent wheel is really bad, you might not even be able to hold air in the tire. So think about that for just a moment, okay? But there are rim places in town that actually can fix a bent rim. They'll put it on a machine and redo something with it and it'll actually bend it out and fix it. That's a possibility. Don't know how much that costs to do, but couldn't imagine it being more than a hundred bucks considering, you know, you could probably go out and buy a whole nother rim like that for $150 or so. Anyways, this one does have leather interior or some type of vinyl that looks like leather that Hyundai offered back then. It does have a few rips in the seats. And again, you know, when you're going back in a car that's, you know, 10, 15 years old, especially an inexpensive car like a Hyundai like this, you know, this is kind of what the leather or vinyl does because it's not really real leather, but this is what it does. Now that actually in the insert there feels like real leather. This is vinyl. So they put a little leather here, vinyl here, vinyl, 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 you know, vinyl. That's how they kind of do things on cars. And they actually still do those types of things on cars, even new cars. They'll put some vinyl here or vinyl there, a little leather, you know, kind of mix it in a little bit to cut costs any way they can. So you still get a pretty decent little car and it looks like it's got leather, but in reality, you got vinyl or leatherette. But at the end of the day, this is just an expensive car for someone to drive, get back and forth to work and school. You could always throw some seat covers on it. And another thing, yes, it might have some cosmetic things with it, but for $22.50, this little bugger will get you up and down the road, driving, doing whatever you need to do. I mean, this car right here can actually help you make some money so you can get to work. It's got cold AC, it's got a heater, it's got a radio, cruise control, all that. It's got a working horn, even has some books and manuals, and oddly enough, has AC that rolls into the glove box. Assuming if you keep some medicine or something like that in there or a candy bar, you can keep it cool where it doesn't melt away. Sunglass holders up top, lights, camera action. There you go. I mean, not a bad little choice for $2,250 if you'd like to buy just an inexpensive cash car. There's no financing available on this, so don't ask me if, I can, if you can finance it. But what I can tell you is you can buy it and walk away with a car that'll get you up and down the road doing what you need to do in 2023. So there you go, Hyundai Elantra Touring. Kind of looks like a wagon, but a crossover, but a hatchback. It's interesting, but it works. See you later, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy watching just some random videos just like this. We'll see you soon.